There you go. Yeah. Go. Is it? Oh, there you go. That's what we've seen. Yep. Hey. Nice fall fish, though. It's better than catching nothing today, being on your couch wishing you were fishing. Look at that, like second cast, too. And I can lip them. Well, there's I'll, nothing to lip on. I'll send it to Matt. <laughs> What is up guys? It's Toast again from Fish Yacker. Welcome back. Caught up with my buddy Nick again today. Fished about seven hours on the north branch of the Susquehanna River here in Pennsylvania. We were targeting smallmouth bass primarily in the flooded creek mouths and in flooded eddies around the main shoreline of the river. Guess how many smallmouths we caught? A total of one. Yes, in seven hours, one smallmouth. That being said, we loaded up on walleye, and Nick caught a beast of a walleye, especially for the Susquehanna River. So we ended up the day with one smallmouth. It was a beautiful fish, amazing coloration on it, and the thing had a gut. It was definitely feeding up. We caught a bunch of walleye, like I said, up to some pretty nice size ones too, and a number of fall fish from little puny small things up to... Wow, one that was probably pushing the weight of the smallmouth that I landed. Uh, had a lot of fun, but the bite really didn't turn on until later in the afternoon. When we first got on the water, about 8 o'clock, we caught a bunch of fall fish and my one smallie. We then covered several miles of the river and up and down the creek that we were hitting, to no avail. Then we go back to the initial spot we were trying, current seams near the mouth of a creek, and we just loaded up on the walleyes. Yeah. It was a really fun day. Air temperature and water temperature were pretty closely matched. Air temperature ended up being around 40 degrees, and the sun was really nice, but the water temperature, surprisingly for this time of year, we're still in early January, was around 41, 42 degrees. So, really good water temperature. We were surprised that we're not more bass moving around, that we're active, but we got into that later afternoon. The bluebird sky had gone away. We had some scattered clouds. It was prefrontal, and that's when some of the fish started to bite. Yep, not smallies, but seemed like most everything else was. All right, guys, if you haven't yet, be sure to click and subscribe to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up. Share the video on all your social media outlets, and we'll catch you on the water. Hey, I, I got $100 and a, and a $50 for my smallest perch. <laughs> 50 50 Dude, I was leading that walleye division for quite a while. I was actually kind of surprised. They rain it too long. It should only be yeah. one month. Yeah, they did it like six months. Yeah, that's, I think that's too long. Yeah, because I mean, we were both doing really well there for a while, multiple divisions. Even back, I was doing oh, really oh, well. Oh, oh, oh. You got one. Yeah, I'll be darned. That's a nice fish. Another walleye, I bet. <laughs> it is. It's another walleye. Look at the colors on them, too. Oh, net man, net man. That's an eater size. That's an eater size. Nice, thank you. Wow, that's two walleyes here. Wow. <laughs> nah. And, and now watch, throw it back and, and... Now, yeah, now we'll get another. Now, this, I think this front's really turning them on. What you got? Probably another walleye. Yep, another walleye. I'll be darned. They're everywhere, man. You're netted, you got them. What'd you say about the uh, catching another one right after we let mine go? The same size? 
He's healthy though. He's he's nice. A little bigger than yours. Yeah, no warts. They're all in here, man. Fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.